Hey everyone, uh, so today I'm making a video to show you how to customize your Steam Deck. So in this case, it's a Steam Deck OLED. Um, but I want to give you an overview of how I made my Steam Deck my own um, through uh, a bunch of theme changes as well as some custom applications that just really make the Steam Deck such an awesome handheld. Uh, probably my favorite gaming system period right now. Um, so the first thing you'll notice, and this kind of brings us into the theme of how I've customized my Steam Deck, but um, you're going to notice that once we get past this Steam boot uh, logo, we are going to get into some custom animation openings. So I have a shuffle of a bunch of different ones, so we'll see which one we get. Oh, we get the Game Boy Advance. Uh, so that's really cool. Just kind of, you know, when you boot up your system, you get a bunch of different cool custom themes. Um, and then you can also see that my theme Steam Deck just, uh, it looks a lot cleaner. Uh, I spent a long time kind of tweaking and customizing how the system is gonna look. Uh, but you can see too on the menus that they uh, follow this red and black theme that I really spent some time coloring everything in and, and just working hard on uh, making the Steam Deck look look my own and then if you you know if you open up a game it looks clean here too and I have some custom um, so this is shows the support for um, Proton which is the Steam kind of like OpenGL type thing it's called Proton uh, through Linux and then this is a time to beat as well as it just makes the uh, play screen look a lot cleaner so how you accomplish these various theming changes is through something called uh, Decky Loader. So you can see here, uh, when you have your normal Steam Deck, this is not here. But Decky Loader allows you to add these plugins, um, and these plugins are just really, really cool. Um, and there's about 70 of them, and I definitely have only installed. Um, what I thought necessary. So there's probably even more cool ones out there that I don't have, but this is what I have. Um, and then I'll go through each one and how they change it. So I have EmuDecky, HLTB for deck, ProtonDB badges, CSS loader. Um, and I'll just go down and if you wanna add any of these yourself, you can see the list that I have here. So starting off, CSS Loader is a must. So CSS Loader has plugins within plugins, which is pretty crazy, but CSS Loader allows you to uh, modify the way that your Steam Deck looks. So I'll give you a overview of all these two. So I'll just go down the list slowly so you can see what we have. Um, But yeah, so this is everything that I have. Uh, and then let's say we just go to themes and then we turn them off. You can see now that it just looks completely different. It's a lot more bland. Uh, the menu now, it just doesn't look nearly as cool or clean uh, in my opinion. And then even more so with the other Decky plugins off, it would be even more bland, but you can see now that we've turned it on, you can really see the changes. It gets rid of this whole like bottom area. It makes these smaller and rounded and just, in my opinion, looks a lot more clean. Um, and then another must have is, um, so Emudeki we'll get into in a little bit. Um, this, I quite honestly don't even know what it does, um, but I have it. <laughs> um, Proton DB badges. This is for the um, uh, the Proton support. CSS loader we covered. Uh, animation changer. This is for your uh, your your boot boot menu. So you can see right now it's selected on the GBA style startup. And then there's also suspended. Um, load uh, one so we can just do that real quick <laughs> so there you go um, and then what else do we have here in, in terms of plugins uh, 
Uh, we have Freeloader is nice because if you go to Freeloader, it will tell you free games. Pretty self-explanatory, but uh, it's just a pretty nice feature to have. Um, Playtime. Playtime just shows you um, uh, some more in-depth stats about what games you've been playing recently, how long you've been playing, um, and it also adds some nice support for um, non-supported games, so Steam games that you've put on you know, the, the, the game mode of your Steam Deck, but maybe are not from the Steam Store. Um, and then I have MU Achievements, we'll get into that. Meta Deck, that has something to do with just the metadata. And then screen, Steam Grid DB, um, so that allows you to just, it, it adds some uh, cool visual effects for the Steam Deck. Um, okay, so those are the plugins. So that is one half of how I've made my Steam Deck my own. But then another way that I have, and you can see here if we go to my library of games, um, let me go to installed. So these are just my Steam games, but then if we go to non-Steam games, you can see here that I've really added quite a few really cool games. So I personally, love emulation and like having retro handheld uh games so like playing you know anything ps2 all sorts of ps1 everything like that handheld but i own um quite a few different retro handhelds so this can do everything from old, very old to ps1 um i i have 3ds <laughs> quite a few different handheld systems. Um, so I personally haven't loaded this up with all the games that I personally, like al always do. I have like a folder that I just drag and drop onto these systems. But uh, so this is something really awesome. So this is called uh, Emu Deck, and it is just a program that you download if you go to your um, desktop mode and then you launch it it gives you this functionality and it gives you emulation station. Uh, and you really don't, it, it is such a cut, like a simple all in one installation that you don't even have to really customize anything. Like, especially like the systems themselves, there's definitely some menus that you have to go through and some hoops to jump through to get like, for example, these like, uh, these like art artwork and stuff like that. But, other than that, I mean, it is such an amazing tool to just install and then be able to play. And the Steam Deck is the best retro handheld emulation uh, system that you could possibly own. So um, I will give off a demo so it can even do Switch, which is just incredible. Of course, I these are just uh, backups that I've made of games that I already own because, um, you know, piracy is not the move <laughs> but that being said so let's jump into one of my personal favorite games of all time which is ratchet and clank um so you know you can just simply launch it and i think i have it set up yeah so this uh that's okay um and then if we go to view Full screen. But this is just a great way to really get the most out of the Steam Deck. I mean, it's a, I think you'd be really missing out on some really cool features if you didn't have uh, Emu Deck installed on your Steam Deck because it's so simple. And if you really want to, you can get an SD card. Um, so that is it gives you a lot more storage and, uh, you know, I wouldn't put like, uh, steam games on your SD card, like the Witcher three or something, but you could, because an emulation, once the files loaded, it's loaded, uh, SD card is a great solution, but, um, you can just see here that, uh, this just runs so flawlessly on this, 
on this handheld. I mean, the Steam Deck is awesome, and I really think, like I said before, you'd be missing out if you did not uh, put Emu Deck on your system and got some great PS2 games at least on there. I mean, you can play pretty much everything, 3DS, anything you wanted is now at your fingertips, but for me, personally, I just went with uh, a small collection of games that, oh, I did not mean to open that menu, but okay. Yeah, I went with a small collection of games that I personally just enjoy. But you can see here, I mean, we're running at, up here is the frame, 60 frames per second, no problem. Um, and this is pretty much the case for all systems. So I'll just demonstrate one more system right after this, but yeah, so I think this is, well, maybe we'll get to a level now. I'll just do a quick little running around just to demonstrate how good this runs. Um, but yeah, I mean, come on, you can't ask for really a better handheld experience like this. It's, it's incredible. And the OLED screen just makes everything look awesome. I mean, it is, uh, I always say, even though this, the, the Switch is not anything special hardware-wise, the OLED uh, Switch is probably the best screen of any handheld that I've ever seen. Um, and that just makes it, this I think is maybe even better. Um, and what I wanted to show you just finally was um, how awesome even Wii games play, so can just boot it up and it takes a second but I played a little bit of Super Mario Galaxy on here and I was really happy with how uh, well it ran all in all so but you can see here and then you just use your uh your finger i mean this you can't play you know like wii sports on this i don't know how you would maybe you can actually map uh this or this to be yeah so you can see here that this can also be your cursor so maybe you could play wii sports if you just flicked it around but for games like this i mean this game is pretty much a, a controller game as it is, and it's just runs so well. I mean, I've always, as soon as I got the Steam Deck, I put Emu Deck on because originally that's what I got this for, and I have never been disappointed. So I think the combination of um, adding these custom uh, theming options and just really tweaking your system to your liking, so that's through Decky Loader, and then combine that with um, Emu Deck and adding some really awesome games, as you can see here, if you wanna get some uh, retro inspiration here. Of course, I've got all the Pokemon games as well as all of my favorite PS2 games and some uh, other just additional random games. I have, like I said, I haven't really loaded, like packed this to the brim with um, ROMs, but you could, there's no reason not to, and honestly, I would encourage that. Um, but yeah, so this is how you make your Steam Deck uh, really, really cool, even more cool than it is out of the box. Um, again, here's my red, red and black theme that I spent a long time setting up. But yeah, so if you guys ever have, and you can see here too, the playtime, um, that's the functionality with the, it's a plugin, but okay. I think I'm going to end it here, guys, and um, I just wanted to show off how I really tweaked my Steam Deck and made it a cool system. Um, if you have any questions, of course, just leave them in the comments, um, and if you want a more in-depth tutorial on like how to set up Emu Deck or something like that, uh, I can always make a video like that if there's enough uh, comments and stuff. So, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I think I'm going to start trying to make some more... Um, videos in the future, some tech related videos, probably related to retro games, um, retro handhelds, all sorts of emulation and just tech related stuff. So uh, be on the lookout for that. 
Uh, but yeah, have a great rest of your day, guys.